Hello everybody. My name is Aniwat Sukhsawat. I live here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. I used to be an instructor in physics and astronomy, but now I work at home. I am a photographer too. You can see some of my masterpiece pictures in this room, which is my gallery. However, in this video, I'm going to talk about my telescope, about how to collimate a small Maxtov Cassegrain telescope. My telescope collimation is not perfect, which means that the out-of-focus star image, the diffraction ring, is not concentric. So I cannot get the sharp images from this telescope. I decide to adjust the collimation, but I have not much experience about the Maksutov Cassegrain telescope. I searched and found a good instruction on the website. I'll give you my practical explanation here. First, we need an artificial star so we can adjust the collimation in the daytime. I use a small sheet of aluminum foil. Make a small hole with a needle. And then put it in front of the LED light of a smartphone. I put the artificial star around 9 meters away or less if you have not enough space. It is very easy to see the diffraction rings of the artificial star with the help of mirrorless camera at the end of the telescope. The grid on the screen can show the center of the image. The out of focus star images, intra and extra focal, will show the diffraction rings. I recommend you to use the spot metering of the camera. It will help you to see the proper exposure, so you can see the diffraction rings clearly, not overexposed. If the collimation of the telescope is not perfect, the out of focus Diffraction rings will look like this, like a comet. The dense part of the rings may be called the head. The opposite part may be called the tail. At the rear of the telescope, there are six adjusting screws which are used to collimate the telescope. The small screws will push and the large screws will pull the mirror of the telescope inside. The principle is to adjust the angle of the main mirror to the proper angle. However, every screw should stay a bit tight, not too tight, all the time to prevent to lose of the holder system. Starting the procedure with the figure of the diffraction rings. Using your finger, point pass in front of the telescope. On the camera screen, you can find the direction of the head of the comet pattern. If this direction points to the large screw, turn the large screw clockwise. 
If it is too tight, then turn the two adjacent smaller screw counterclockwise. But if the direction of the head of the comet pattern points to the small screw, turn the small screw counterclockwise. If it is too tight, then turn the two adjacent larger screws clockwise. The instruction on the website that has been mentioned also recommend to turn the opposite screw, but I did not do it because it is already tight. During this procedure, the out-of-focus disk will move out of the center of the screen, which we can recenter it anytime using slow motion control of the telescope mount. For the first attempt, I found that the out-of-focus disk is still not perfect circle. So I repeated the process again, but not the same screw, depend on the new direction of the comet's head pattern. When I thought it looked okay, I took the photo of the reflection pattern to check it out. I loaded the photo of the disk to a computer and used some software to check the symmetry of the diffraction rings. This is the website that I mentioned about the software. So now the symmetry of the rings are quite good. I hope this method may be useful for everybody. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe this video. Thank you very much.